Hey guys, uh, this is my hello and welcome to a one-off, I guess. This is Hatoful Boyfriend. So, you may be wondering, what's with these birds all over the screen? Well, this is a dating game where you, a human, are dating birds. Just let that sink in for a moment. In fact, take this time to freak the fuck out. You know, scream at your monitor being on like, what? Or being on like, God damn it, Japan. You know, any of those comments. Just let it all out. Alright. Has the shock? I mean, are you now no longer shocked? Good. Let's proceed with this game, shall we? <laughs> As stupid as this premise may be, this game is actually pretty interesting. It's got a very deep story, surprisingly enough. Unfortunately, I'm only going to be showing you one video, and it's not going to be enough to show you why this game is necessarily mind-blowing, but allow me to show you just a little bit. So we are a student. A high school student attending what is called Saint Pigeonations Institute. And this story is based in some culture that's like Japan. So that's why I'm gonna be naming my character Hello Mayo. Because in Asian cultures, um, when people say the full name, they usually say the last name first. So if I'm to be called Maya Hello, then I'd have to be like that. Um, as awkward as they may seem right now with how my first name would be like Maya Hello, but then, you know, the thing is, in Asian cultures, they'll invert these two with each other, so, um, yes, this is fine. So you may be wondering, why the hell am I playing this game? Well, Tomorrow, it's going to be Thanksgiving in America, and, well, I'm not sure if there's a lot of Thanksgiving games, but hey, this is a game about birds, and people eat turkeys for Thanksgiving. Now, some of you may be thinking, isn't that a bit morbid? Because you're going to be dating birds that are alive, and for those who have played this game, the morbid nature is an interesting thing to note. So this is a little interesting feature here. Um, I said we're going to be dating birds, but this little module allows you to see certain portraits that show what these birds that we're going to be dating look like if they were humans. So let's, you know, enable it right now. Let's play this game. All right, let's. This is so stupid. St. Pigeonations, a school blessed with extensive extra, extensive curricula and facilities. Looks like a pretty boring Japanese school to me. Oh, it's April 8th. That's a nice day. April 8th. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say, this school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's- oh, okay, so it is in Japan. Explicitly. This school is Japan's- no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. So. Yeah, this is essentially a Hogwarts for, for birds. You may be thinking, God, this is so stupid. How can this game be deep? Y you'll be surprised. You'll be very surprised. These Japanese people know how to cre you know, create a story that's very multi-layered. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports, all come to St. Pigeonations. Ah, yes. Birds and sports, like birds and American football. I'm sure that that's a great spectacle. Now just imagine it, like pigeons playing in the NFL Super Bowl. The teaching staff and student body are both made of, di of a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. What about humans? I'm often asked ask why I chose to come here despite not being a bird. So you may be wondering, the main character is a human female. So yes, I am a female right now. So this is a game about dating birds. You may be thinking, ugh, bestiality. Let me assure you that this game never goes, it never goes the sexual route. It's more like cute romance with some good storytelling. 
Oh? Not every day I see you rushing along like this. Hi, you look like a very... regular pigeon. Ryota! Hey Ryota! Usually you'd have been ready for... Usually you'd have been ready for an hour by now. Hello? I guess I should have said my hello. Okay, maybe I did mess up the name thing. Who cares? I'm not going to play this game for like forever. So this is our good friend Ryota Kawara. So this is what he would look like if he was a human. And you know, he looks, you know, like a typical anime Japanese high schooler with red eyes. Look at those red eyes. He's Satan. Well, it's mostly because this pigeon has red eyes since, you know, he's a pigeon. So yes, this is a real image of a pigeon. This rock dove is, this rock dove, dove is Kawara Ryota. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. Oh, that's cute. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Oh, he's such a good friend. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Please don't take that into a sexual context. Why did I even mention the word sexual? That means you are gonna take it into a sexual context. We're just good friends here. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. Can you even cook? I mean, you're a bird. You're tiny. I mean, you're a freaking bird. <laughs> Starvation looms. So, I mentioned something about hunting or gathering. There's a lot of questions that will not be obvious until much later. So, if you play this game, you'll get to know some important details. But first, it's time for class. It's the first day, so we can't be late. And so Ryota pulled me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all the lost fun. Okay, so this is my second year attending St. Pigeon Nations. And so, welcome to the first term of Hatoful Boyfriend. Yay, pigeons. These are all my classmates. I hope they don't poop on me. Because they're friends here. So I think in Japan they go by year and then each year has like one, two or three classes that they're divided into. So I don't know exactly how the Asian school system works, but it's very different from the American school system. I can say that uh, for those who are European or, or I guess if your school system is different from the American school system, let me know, you know, feel free to like, comment and subscribe guys. Old faces and new faces. A strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the, at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Yay. Ooh, the teacher. Hi. Oh, you look white. Kazuaki. Hmm. Good morning, every birdie. Um, I'm Nanaki Kazuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and I see you don't specialize in English considering how you just left the sentence like hanging here and physics oh, oh okay I see man you're slow you're gonna be a boring teacher aren't you lame and also some god he's gonna be the most boring teacher ever yawn other things you serious our teacher is He's fallen asleep on the first day, and he's done absolutely nothing but introduce himself to us. Poor man. Narcolepsy. Narcolepsy is a serious thing. Wake up, it's homeroom. It's only homeroom. Ugh, that's weird. So yes, this is Kazuyaki Nanak Nanaki. We usually call him Nanaki. He's famously, he's a famously so, so, por so perfect math professor. So this is, you know, this word means he tends to fall asleep a lot. So that's a weird trait. A teacher that just falls asleep like that. You'd think it'd be the students who do that, not the teachers. Apparently he's well known as a mathematician. This goes to show great minds come in all forms. More like you're enforcing the stereotype that all mathematicians are just weird. Like very weird. Uh, I'm sorry, isn't it a little warm in here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Ooh, new student. For once, I'm not the new guy here since I'm new as of last year and I'm human. Please introduce yourself, Shiragane. 
Uh, hi? Look at that wing. What's with this music? Excuse me, where did you come from? What is the point? Hmm, I have no wish to speak with commoners. Oh shit, I forgot. I clicked through the dialogue. Oops. Uh, oh well, I, I guess that's that. Who the hell are you? Hey, that's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. You're the teacher here. Enforce some discipline, Mr. Sleepy Guy. We well, can just, you know, you know, yeah, I mean, we can't let him break rules starting from day one. It's not as if he's like, what, the boss of us or anything. The system will collapse. Okay, what? The system will collapse and we'll all turn into Kulaks and dissenters. Excuse me. What's with us. What's with our character, huh? Well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shirogane? Y you just said the name. He doesn't need even need to say it anymore. Shirogane Label Sakuya. Oh my god, what a prick. Damn, he looks hot, though. If he, you know, if we were an anime girl or guy, you know, yaoi and shit, I don't know. So this fantail is Shirogane Sakuya. His feathers would make anybody proud. He's pretty stuck up. Pretty. That's an incredible... That's an incredibly big understatement right there. Transferring is never easy. You see, um, as someone who transferred a lot before in school, usually you'd be the shy one, not the stuck up prick. I hope we can be friends. Maya, hello. You're just being very optimistic here. You are not going to be friends with that prick. I would not recommend being friends with that prick at all. I mean, he's already enemies with us. Come on, man. I think this little bird is telling me that there's going to be trouble down the line. Oh, you think? He's probably like, what, going to force Donald Trump to like buy our asses away? Why did it just... Arbit that was a very forced Donald Trump reference. Jeez. Okay, so it's lunch. That was a fast day. So I have to return some books from the library all summer. Shouldn't I have, like, fines for renting these books out for the whole summer? Oh, whatever. Time to return them. Yay! Where's everyone? As I have the receptionist, there's hardly anybody here. Dude, it's the first day of school. I think nobody would need the library on the first day of school. Nerd! What's up? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Oh, hi! Or not. A morning dove stands in a dark corner, staring at my door. Uh, that's kind of creepy. Looks cute though, but yeah. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. I guess, maybe. I don't pay attention too much to birds. I'm not a burp fan or anything like that. Um, did you want to, Did you want something from me? Oh, uh, you were just staring at me an hour ago. I mean, just now. You think you wouldn't be surprised if I talked to you or acknowledged you? Okay, that's rude. Not really. Oh, whoa. What is this sudden sad atmosphere all of a sudden? I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes. I don't want anything with you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. Wh what? Oh, m my books. Right, right, right. I thought you were like saying... Your soul, or something weird like that. He glances at the desk as if to say, hurry up and return him already. Does he do volunteer library work? Uh, okay, sorry. <laughs> they were a little too dense and I never finished them. Okay, maybe I'm not a nerd after all. <laughs> were you waiting for them all summer? Jeez, what? Oh my god, Maya, hello. How rude of you. Um, are you going to speak to us, Nagaki? He suddenly returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood. I suppose. He... Kinda seems a bit weird, not gonna lie. I'm Maya Hello. See, I told you, the name scheme works here. I'm Maya Hello, a sophomore. What about you? Your... I mean, I know your name from the text box, which I can see with my omni... you know... Omnipresence and omni... omni omniscience. Omniscience, omniscience. I'm omnis... the... I... Uh, whatever. Nagaki. Fujishiro, Nagaki, freshman, uh, please make your acquaintance. Ooh, nice green hair. You look so sad, and oh my god, you have red eyes. You know what he look, looks like? You know the Pokemon Rots? 
He reminds me of Rot. Okay, so funny story. Um, in my Pokemon Alpha Sapphire playthrough, I actually caught a Rot and evolved it all the way to um, its final evolution, and I named it Nagaki actually. Fujishiro Nagaki, huh? Morning doves are pretty rare in Japan. Maybe it's just his voice, but he kind of seems sad. He looks sad too. Aww. Leave me alone. Uh, okay. Oh, he's just reading his book. I guess he wants some privacy. You know, maybe it's like an introvert and introverts need their own space. And they gotta respect it because they don't want to be around people all the time because it's actually mentally exhausting. And I'm speak and I'm saying this as an introvert myself. Oh, sorry to bother you. Okay, um, have fun reading your book with Nagaki. I keep meeting depressing people today. Yeah, first this, you know, rich ass prick who's depressing my life away. Depressing? I don't think depressing would be a good verb. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Yeah, isn't it class I'm already? What? Oh, it's that prick. That shirogonic prick. And some other big bird. You should have... You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Sakaya. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother? Oh god, your brothers. But, look, but you don't look anything like him. I mean, you do. Actually, you do look a lot, but... He's fancy, you don't look fancy. After all these years! Damn, what's this music? It's pretty cool. My brother, you must be joking. You never once been a brother to me. <laughs> Please, don't try to talk to me again. I've no time for half breeds. I'll be going now. Half breeds? But your brothers! Hey, wait, just a. Are you like stepbrothers or something? Or half brothers? I guess you might be half brothers. Well, I guess even if we're in the same school now, what's done is done. I'm trying to do like a snake or a kaiba voice. The problem is I suck at voice acting, so excuse me. I haven't been, I haven't been to eavesdrop, eavesdrop, but I think I hear, overheard something juicy. Yeah, this new kid, Sakui, is actually related to some birdie who's actually attending the school. <laughs> Are you some birdie? The ever popular trendsetter and ladies man, Sakazaki Yuya. Oh, he's well known in the school. Is Sakuya's brother? Oh my god. This rich prick has such a, you know, interesting brother. One who he'd be awfully ashamed of. Ugh. I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey. Uh, uh, speaking of snake. <laughs> you heard that whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakuya's? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to listen in on you. I just meant to, like, you know, listen in so I can have some interesting gossips. I mean, I mean, hi, you're cool. You're hot. Date me. <laughs> ah, no sweat. I tried to say sexy and suave in front of all of you little ladies, but that there wasn't too cool. Damn. I don't know what you're like when you're trying to be sexy and suave because, damn, you're like, uh. What else weird? So this is Yuya Sakazaki. He doesn't. doesn't I guess he's sort of sexy. I guess. I mean, maybe the glasses doesn't really. Maybe the glasses don't really help his image. But anyway, this fantail pigeon is Sakazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous or infamous throughout the school. Everybody know, knows of him. He's well dressed, though. I'll give him that. You're hello, right? Uh, how did you? I know everybody here. Besides, you're the only human. Yeah, just keep that in mind. We're the only human at a school for birds. Why, you may ask? You will not know the answer for quite a while. I know everybody here. Oh, wait a minute. I just already read that. A single puppy in a field of fry. A needle in a haystack. Did you say you're a friend of Sakuya's? Um, for the sake of trying to get into your pants, yes. Not exactly. Okay, I guess we're being truthful. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. Rather ballistic is an understatement. We're in the same class, that's all. And he's already our enemy, that's all. I never thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe. He is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article. In the flesh. Shut up, Mokuba. He, wait, so he's actually an aristocrat. <laughs> How about that? I was right about him. What a rich prick. And yet he's Yuya's brother. He's a bit of a pain, so good luck. Mon ami, adieu. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have given him a Kaibe voice. Maybe I should have tried more French, but 
Then again, I don't think he really goes by French because Sakuya is extremely French versus Yuya who seems very... I don't know, he seems more down to earth than Sakuya. Although Yuya does sound, I don't know, weird and maybe fishy. I don't know, who am I to judge birds on my, my first day of my second year of school as the only human? That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. You're supposed to say every birdie. Oh, wait a minute, that's because I'm not a bird. Oh, thank you for not being ex exclusive, but I want to be treated like a bird. You know, like... <laughs> yeah, we haven't seen Ryota in a while. He said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there. Oh, the hospital? Or, I mean, you know, the nurse room. Hmm, I see. Ryota always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. Oh, poor kid. With such a weak stomach. That's gotta be painful. I actually knew a guy who had extreme stomach problems and it sucked for him. I mean, he had stomach problems for like a while and I think he still does actually. Excuse me. Um, interesting office here. Nobody's here? This is weird. Um, Ryota? You here, bud? We should probably get out of here soon, because I don't like this atmosphere. There's no one sleeping behind the curtains either. Why would you say that, my hello? My hunter-gatherer instincts start feel no presence. Well, I guess I feel safe about that then. There's nobody here. Well then, maybe Ryota's not here after all. Ryota? Yeah, we should go. Mayo, we should just go. I said go! Weird, did he go home already? You know what? Just go. Just go. Ryota must be home by now. Just let's go to Ryota's home, shall we? Because I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been here much before. Unlike Ryota, I am perfectly healthy. Whoa, they got all kinds of drugs in here. Like marijuana and marijuana and marijuana and marijuana. Which is actually not legal in Japan, last I know. Like, I think if, I'm not sure about Japan, but I think from what I've heard, they might actually arrest you if you have marijuana, since, well, it's not America. There's a lot of big differences between Asian countries and America, as you can see. Oh, they have these drugs instead, like chemicals. Ethylpar, Trife, Trife, Lucio Benzene. What do these even do? Are these normal for a school? Care to find out? Who is that? Oh my god, you're fat! So that's a doctor? What the hell? <laughs> I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Hmm. Are you serious? Is that the dance of the sugar plum fairy? W why? <laughs> no, thank you. So this is Iwamine Shu. He looks like a badass in human form, but he's a bird. This portrait is Iwamine Shu, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person. It has a bad reputation among the student body. Yeah, don't you think? Look at these red glasses. Oh my god, these red glasses, they stick out so much. And his hair, it actually looks hot. Everybody, know, everybody knows that just talking to him can bring you down with aspergillus, Pistacosis, or even worse things. Like worth. Like what? And I never even heard of him come in the door. And I never even heard him come in the door. Ninja doctor? Oh my god, naughty ninjas. You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Um, I heard Ryota Kawara from 2 3 was supposed to be here. Him? He's already gone. Uh oh. Why didn't he come find me before going home then? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, so, so sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. Yeah, let's get out of that hellhole. Ugh, that den of evil. You said it. Ryota's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh, I never got around to joining a club last year. Ew, extracurriculars. Let's make some friends. I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird... Oh, right. This is a school for birds. But wait a minute. How is bird watching a sport for birds? What is it like ladies taking a look at dudes 
or dudes taking like a ladies or something like that's a sport that's a weird sport if that's the sport wasn't there another one anyway i'll start with the track team i ran in middle school and it's always funny watching the birds hop around <laughs> i can just imagine like you know you're just sprinting and the birds are like <coughs> okay so this is the track i think the club room is on the ground floor off to the side a white dove is having a tantrum outside oh what's wrong with him Hi. Uh, hi. Goo goo! Goo! So, for those of you who follow Proton John, you may now associate him with a certain game and a certain Let's Player because of what he did in the stream, which you can watch the stream highlight on YouTube. Yeah. So, apparently, this bird doesn't speak in English and speaks in third person if he did speak in english he's dancing around on a squished pudding uh, that's not very nice of the pudding yeah it's food putting his friend not oh my god <laughs> that's a nice suit there ogosan so remember these portraits are what these birds would look like if they're human apparently ogosan has no human-like traits considering how he doesn't even speak english Supposedly he's a phantom vision, I think. Oh, just like Sakuya and Yuya? Those are phantom visions. Hyper is a very big understatement. I'm saying understatement a lot, aren't I? Goo! A deception must file, a wretched betrayal. I'm incredibly amazed that a human can understand him in the first place. Betrayal? Goo! Pudding be provided for new members. But aren't you stomping on pudding? What are you doing? Goo! But this is no pudding. I was that scorn, betrayed. Drag them to the street and shot by those he trusted most. God, what a diva. It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like a normal store bought pudding. Um, what's wrong with it? Yeah, what's wrong with it? Get down! Um. <laughs> oh my god, Okasan used wing attack. It's super effective. <laughs> Is it because I'm a fighting type? <laughs> uh. They're rude at the class, Okasan. You have them flayed, shot, at dawn, hanged, you will. Jesus Christ. That's a bit violent there. Gah. Okasan must now train to a paint of true pudding. Did he just make a car noise? What is he, a car? I suppose that's how birds can do track. He's a very good runner, but what does Pudding have to do with the track team? Yeah, that was incredibly weird. And so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pigeonations. It was incredibly weird. I want to transfer out of the school. Well, I mean, at least my friends here. Ryota, right? Uh, I think we all want to choose a class council today. As you all know, the school doesn't require you to join any club. If you want to join, you can, but if you don't, then you're free to go home after school. Oh, come on, we gotta, gotta we all gotta do something other than go to class and watch YouTube videos at home, right? We all gotta have a hobby, aside from let's playing. Yeah. Oh, hi, Okasan. I didn't know you were my class. <laughs> Off to paint your true pudding. That's good. What about you, Shirogane? Did you even listen to what he said? Uh, foolish question. I already hold a position here. That's actually quite impressive, considering how much of a prick you are, and considering that you knew. Oh, right. You became student president when you were admitted. What? Excuse me? I don't think democracy works that way. I don't think anything works that way. What world is this? Nepotism, ho! <laughs> Amen to that. Don't forget to vote. Just confused school is enough for me. Oh, come on, Ryota, you got to use something, right? Oh. Oh, dear. You have to take care of your mother on your own, after all. Does she not have ever anyone else to help her out? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, you need to spend time with your mom, then. I wonder what I should do. S joined her. So, this is the interesting thing about this game. This is a dating sim. So, what we do will determine who we end up dating. As you can imagine, if we join the student council, 
Remember, Shirogane is the president, so we'll be spending time with him. The track team, well, as you saw, Okosan is in the track team, so we'll be spending time with him and Pudding if we join the track team. Library staff, I don't remember, but I think we'll be spending time with Nagaki if we remember him. Come on! But alas, I think this is enough of Hatofo boyfriend for me to show off. If you want to see more of Hatofo boyfriend, I know that the Let's Player Dodger made the game popular, but actually, so I know what happens in Hatofo boyfriend because I watched um, streams of this game. I recommend watching Lukajin and so she streamed the entirety of Hatofo Boyfriend on Twitch and because of how story intensive the game was, she made every single one of her Hatofo Boyfriend's streams into stream highlight highlights so that they, remi they remain on Twitch so that they don't get erased by Twitch. I know that she, I know that Lukajin has a stream highlights YouTube channel, but I don't think those streams are on that channel. So I would recommend going to Lukajin's Twitch um, ch channel, which is twitchtv lukajins or jennacomeback.com, and go to highlights, and you can find all of the stream highlights from when she played this game. And she probably did a much better job than I did, but yeah. This is her tofu boyfriend, the Thanksgiving special, since it's about birds. Now, you may be wondering, but this is a dating sim. Shouldn't this be for like Valentine's Day? I mean, I'll probably be busy around the time for with like work related stuff. But yeah, um, so this is the Thanksgiving video. I hope you've enjoyed this weird one off. I'm not going to continue with this game. Um, and just to let you know, there's going to be no video tomorrow since. Well, it's Thanksgiving tomorrow, so for those of you who aren't in America, enjoy your day off without my video. We've already established that I'm only going to be uploading Chrono Trigger for the time being anyway, so... Well, I hope you've enjoyed this bizarre... thing. <laughs> well... <laughs> sorry for my shitty voice acting. Um, thanks for watching. Bye! <laughs>